Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, December 1st, 2018, and I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. I have um, some scripture for you today and a devotion, but first, as always, I like to say the Our Father. So please join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, this is called God's Word is Truth, and the reading is from Psalm 119 verses 145 to verses 160 and it says I cry out with my whole heart hear me O Lord I will keep your statutes I cry out to you save me and I will be keep your testimonies I rise before the dawning of the morning and I cry for help I hope in your word. My eyes are awake through the night watches that I may meditate on your word. Hear my voice according to your loving kindness. O Lord, revive me according to your justice. They draw near who follow after wickedness. They are far from your law. You are near, O Lord and all your commandments are truth. Concerning your testimonies, I have known of old that you have founded them forever. Consider my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Revive me according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked for they do not seek your statutes. Great are your tender mercies, O Lord. Revive me according to your judgments. Many are my persecutors and my enemies, yet I do not turn from your testimonies. I see the treacherous and I am disgusted because they do not keep your word. Consider how I love your precepts. Revive me, O Lord, according to your love and kindness. The entirety of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous judgments endures forever. This is very powerful, this psalm. Um, and it speaks of the difference between the upright people that love God and love his laws and love his righteousness and love his and see his truth and it's it's just all that you live for is that truth and then there's another group who don't care about the law they're far from the law uh they don't have the truth in them the truth is not in them at all because once the truth is in you you crave it you love it you cling to it. It's the blood, heaven's blood is God's word. Then there's life in the blood. Let's read the devotion. It says, they are near the voices that confuse, deceive, and attack. They are near, as near as the remote control, as near as the radio, as near as the next social media post. We are surrounded by voices, and so many of those voices despise God's truth. They mock his existence and disparage his promises. Now we see this, especially on the YouTube, on the Facebook, all these political posts. People are caught in the worldly drama. Who's going to bite who next okay and i'm for this one and i'm for that one and they don't look uh, 
at what is operating in these people. I said there's two types of people. There's people that have loved the truth of God and there's people that don't. The people that run this world don't believe in God, regardless of what side they are on. They're puppets. They're Luciferian puppets. And, and also, when bad things happen, you have to remember one thing. The end of the Bible is going to happen. And God is going to use everything for his purpose, including these people, to bring the judgment, to bring the disasters on. Okay? You have to look that uh, we are vessels here. And in previous videos, I've said that you're either going to serve one or you're going to serve the other. And um, what you serve is a spirit. You serve the spirit of God or you're serving the spirit of Satan. If you're on Satan's team, then you're going to be a part of the culmination of this new world order. And if you're in God's team, okay, and love the truth and know him and who he is, keep love his precepts and love his statutes and his laws and his commandments, and uh, you breathe every word of them because they're a part of every fiber of you, you are going to be assaulted, mocked, and attacked by the other team. Okay, and this is all called, it's called a bifurcation, it's a division, it's a split. It's the apostasy, the falling away. When whoever whoever's team people are going to be on becomes solidified, just like your identity in Christ has been revealed to you, to them, their identity in Lucifer and Satan has been revealed to them. Okay? Up until the time the church is removed, it's a twin system. It's a duality. Okay? God said that he was going to put enmity between um, the seed of the woman and Satan's seed. That means all those that accept Christ are going to have conflict. Okay? And once the ch you know, they don't like the fact that they can't overpower you because of that enmity. But once the church is taken out, then they could be one with themselves and who they truly are in the same fashion that we can be one with ourselves, with, with Jesus Christ. See, we can unify with Jesus Christ and they're going to unify with Satan. But we're going to be out of here because we're not, we're not subject to this. The church is God's gift to Jesus, okay, for all the suffering that he did. The body of Christ, the bride of Christ is, is, is God's, uh, Jesus, belongs to Jesus, okay? And then Satan knows that he has a short period of time, so he's angry, and he's going to get rough, okay? Tribulation is going to be rough. Not only is he going to get rough, and he's going to try to deceive you more and more and more. Whoever's left, whoever's left here, the lost, okay? But in the halfway, in the, the tribulation, the seven years, which is three and a half years, you're going to get the great tribulation, which is God's wrath upon the earth. But we see in this now, we see in this all... The, the fighting and the arguing and um, uh, the left against the right. And even in the church, the, um, the once saved, always saved, their I, I, idealism of uh, interpreting is almost a very uh, aggressive and um, um, kind of like, they're kind of like Antifa, you know, they're the protesters in the body of Christ. They are demanding um, their, the, their right of way over the right. 
And if you look at the, the split within the church, the ones on the right are, are, are promoting righteousness and uprightness and walking and allowing the ministry of the Holy Spirit to, um, to, um, to transform them and walking in holiness. And the ones on the left, the ones saved, always saved, are the ones that are uh, demanding their sin. They are demanding that their sins are forgiven and that, that they have a right to, to walk in that dirty body. And it's the same thing in the world. You see, the left is demanding the homosexuality, um, the uh, transgenderism, the pedophilia, all of that. They're demanding it. It's the same division, people. You have to look above what your eyes see okay look above it these are people that are vessels with one uh, one spirit in them and another spirit in them and that is like um when it comes together it's like two magnets that whoosh, they repel each other and that's what we're seeing so you know, if you're on one side or the other, now you kind of get a good picture of what is really going on behind the scenes. Okay, let me see if I could find my place. Um, it, it's easy to get overwhelmed and discouraged. The voices seem to be everywhere and it's hard to escape. It's hard to be grounded in the truth. The voices that discourage are near but there is someone who is nearer still. He is as close as your next breath, your next heartbeat, your next thoughts. He is with us and he is in us and he is for us because if God is for us, who could be against us, right? And verse 151 tells us that you are near, O Lord, and all your commandments are the truth. Yes, our world is filled with noisy voices, and you'll probably hear some today. I'm sure of that. But isn't it good to know that God is near and that it is his voice that will ultimately prevail? Can't wait to hear the voice of the archangel. And in the twinkling of an eye, we'll be in the presence of the Lord. It is his truth that will stand for all time. His truth endures forever. So all those voices of doubt, discouragement, they will soon be gone like the morning mist. But God's word is true and his promises for you will endure forever. So put on a happy face because the Lord is coming very soon. Um, the prophetic time clock is ticking. It's almost like the ball going down on New Year's Eve. And um, I could um, hear the clock ticking and I could see the steps of that ball going down, okay? And um, uh, when that ball hits the bottom, it's going to say rapture, not 2019, okay? It's going to say rapture. And we'll be out of this pain and suffering and we'll be in a much better place <laughs> and uh, where there is so much love and joy. I can testify to that. He promises us that. He's on blessed hope. And if you don't know Jesus, today is the day of salvation. I'm going to put the... Um, video prayer right behind this. All I ask you to do is to just follow along with a sincere heart. Give your life, your heart to Jesus today, and we will all meet in the clouds. And it is going to be a glorious, glorious wedding. The bridegroom is waiting for his bride. And, um, all heaven is going to be rejoicing. The whole universe is going to be rejoicing. God bless you. I love you. Jesus loves you. Never forget how much he loves you.
Never forget it. He's coming very soon. God bless. <laughs>